All right, so we're gonna start with the double welt pocket. So initially what you'll want to do is, and this is for a horizontal double welt pocket, is you're going to mark your actual fabric. So you're going to imagine that this, these two black parallel lines are going to be where your welt comes out from under your actual fabric. So it's gonna come out from this direction and up from that direction so that they sandwich together along that dashed line. So with that being said, this pattern itself was made with three quarter inch seam allowance on either side. And then I left my actual double welts to be only a half inch wide. So they will be a quarter inch on top, quarter inch on bottom. From those three quarter inch seam allowances, if you'd like to call them that, and it's just really a visual and it's good to have a little bit extra border with your double welts or your single welt so that they're they're kind of like a reinforcement for the um the welts themselves for the actual pocket so now that i have marked those two parallel lines so this is just a half inch by half inch and i use the widest point of my hand here as the width of the pocket it's fairly traditional but you can make it whatever width you like that's about four inches wide by half an inch tall so from either side of this pocket, half an inch, I've created this triangle shape to meet at the center, okay? This triangle shape. Because when we cut and place this actual welt onto our actual fabric, you are not going to cut beyond this point. You're not gonna cut that point. You're only gonna cut from this point to this point along that dashed line because that is how we will flip the facing, if you will, of the double welt to the wrong side of your garment. So this is gonna be my right side facing out. I'm gonna put a chalk mark on the wrong side so that we're all clear with which side we are working on. So from the right side of the garment, I know that my, my width of my pocket will be four by half an inch deep. So all I'm going to do is find my location and I'm going to mark half an inch distance, so I have half an inch away from each other, and four inches wide. Because what this is going to represent is the opening for my welt pocket. So I've got my pattern. We can assume that this is the actual pocket bag or pocket lining. And usually you'll cut your pocket bag or lining to be double the width of your pocket because this will be coming up to line the pocket itself. Traditionally speaking, you would use for this welted piece, you would use the self fabric, but for the sake of contrast, so you can follow along, I did it in different, different fabrics. So all I've done right now is I attached my pocket bag to the bottom of the welt itself with an eighth of an inch seam allowance so that I have one continuous piece of right side to right side. Now I'm going to place my welt right over top of those markings. And if you'd like to, you can thread trace this box. You can thread trace even just in those points. But all I'm going to do is fold this over and align my welt's corners with the two top dots that I've already laid out. You can double check that the bottom dots are aligning as well and then you're good to go so we're going to pin this welt into place so i'm going to stitch now and you can use the hand wheel to be sure that you drop that needle directly in that starting location and do a little back tack and I did interface my um, the welt itself because that is going to become the welts. So I'm just gonna come down and across to a back tack in this corner. And I'm not turning this corner, I'm just gonna sew, give myself a little jiggle on my machine so I can continue the stitch and not have to re-thread or waste thread. All right, so 
So now I've got those two parallel lines sewn and I can clip away at any of those excess threads just so they don't cause me any problems later. And you can see from the wrong side of your garment, you just have the two parallel lines stitched. So now what we have to do is we're gonna slash along that dashed line. So I'm just gonna fold this in half, give myself a little snip so I can have an opening here. And now I'm going to cut down to that triangular point. And when I get to that triangular point here that I've drawn in, I'm going to I'm going to cut into the corners, cut toward as close as possible because we want to have a really nice flip when we turn this to the wrong side of the garment. Do the same for the opposite side. It's almost as if you were putting in um, a zipper on an external part of a bag or a garment. So now we're gonna flip everything into that opening. This is the tricky part, not the fun part, but the tricky part. Because what we want to obtain is a very, very, very nice, clean, square outline. So I have to press that open. I'm gonna just go in here and be sure that I clipped as close as possible without clipping my stitching. I have this really nice, super clean rectangle. So I'm gonna grab my iron and just press that. And I'm gonna press from the wrong side just to be sure I don't damage my fabric. So I'm just gonna pin that to my ironing board. So what you can do either from the beginning or now makes no difference. That center line is also gonna act as a notch for us. So I'm just gonna clip just into my fabric a little bit along what that center line was. My scissors have been through a lot, so they are not the sharpest at the tip. But what this little doohickey notch thing is gonna represent for us is where we're going to fold our welt. So the next step, I'm going to fold my welt. See, I'm just making like this pleat, just folding it down to meet that notch on either side. Just fold that down. And then I'm going to press. And that's what the interfacing helps do. It really keeps the, the fabric stabilized so that when that pocket is sewn into place, It'll have the stabilizer as like a backing, a reinforcing to really keep it nice and straight and strong. So let's see this from the right side. So now that I've pressed both of my welts into place, I'm going to do what's called stitching in the ditch. I'm going to stitch along where my actual welt, so I probably could have done a better job of pressing along that top edge because what we, what we want to create is kind of like that shadow effect where you can see into the pocket. So I'm going to run to the machine. I'm going to do a stitch in the ditch all around within. So I just catch my welts and not catch myself fabric. For instance, you would definitely want to use thread to match because you do not want to see this on the right side of your garment.
double welt pocket. I think we're doing pretty good because the message is clear. We've got double welts. Now I'm gonna flip to the wrong side and I'm going to flip my pocket lining or pocket bag up and you can press that into place if you like. And I'm going to pin my pocket lining to the welt fabric itself. And then I'm going to the machine. And you wanna sew at the machine with the right side facing up. So you can just pull back at your fabric, stitch along the edges, one, two, three, four, and your welt pocket will be done. This is what this is what the wrong side of your welt pocket should look like. And this is the right side of your double welt. And there you are. Voila. Double welt lined pocket.